Welcome to more designs. Today I will be showing you a little bit about digital planning, getting started, what you need, and kind of what digital planning is all about. Stay tuned to the end to get your own starter kit to get started with digital planning today. Make sure you take a minute to like my video and subscribe to my channel. I'll be producing lots of different content related to digital planning. So let's start just by looking at what this planner can do. Uh, one of the great things is you can zoom up, zoom out, turn pages. It really works like an actual paper and pencil planner. When you open up this bar, it gives you the ability to draw right on your planner. So here you can see you can draw pictures, you can write, you can also open up text boxes and type. You can zoom up so you can make your pictures look a little better. In this spread that I created, I already have some stickers on it, so I'll show you. This is a water tracking and step tracking sticker I've created. So I can zoom up on it and I can actually color in and track how much water I've had for the day, as well as put how many steps in I took for that day. There's a lot of options when it comes to writing. You can change the thickness of your pen, you can change it to any color. It has some preset colors as well as a color wheel, so basically any color you want. When you mess up, which I do often, there's a quick undo button that allows you to go back. Another option is you have the ability to erase, and what's great is when you erase, it only erases the words that you've written or things that you've drawn. So it won't get rid of the stickers I've put in here or the actual layout of the planner. Most planners comes with tabs. Most seem to have tabs along the side for the months and tabs up top for various other features. So if I click on the sticker tab, it'll bring me to a collection of stickers that I'm ready to use and put in every month. And these are just some quick stickers that I created and I'm gonna be going over how to use stickers in later dates. So just like a paper planner that has tabs, it has a month spread, it has week spreads, all of these things can be found in your digital planners. So if I click on February, you'll see my month of February come up. And again, you see some of the stickers that I've created. So to talk about what we need, the first thing you're going to need is an iPad and an Apple Pencil. An Apple Pencil really allows you to draw like you had an actual pencil. It is sensitive to how much pressure you put on it. It even allows you to shade by simply tilting the pen on the side. It really allows you to be creative in your planners and is a huge help when we jump into starting to create our own stickers in future videos. So an Apple Pencil is definitely a must have. I'm currently using an iPad Pro and a second generation pencil. But as you can see here, many of the iPads have the same capabilities. Some require that you use the first generation Apple Pencil. Uh, so it's really just what do you have that's gonna work for you. The next thing you'll need is an app called GoodNotes. This is the app where your planner will be housed. It's the app that you saw me flipping through the pages on earlier. You can find it in the App Store for only $7.99. Uh, it's, it's pretty reasonable and this is what you're going to need to house all your planners in. So this is definitely a must as you jump into this world of digital planning. So from here you really have a choice. There are two different ways that you can go about digitally planning. The first way is less creative but probably costs a little bit more money. And that is to simply go to Etsy and purchase a digital planner so that you are not dealing with the creating or sometimes even the stickers. You're taking what someone else has already created and you're filling it in week by week. Um, and you can see when you go to Etsy, and I'll show you right now, and simply search digital planner, there are probably hundreds of choices out there. So you really get to choose what fits your style, what fits your needs, what spreads you like, what tabs you like to have. 
You'll see some that are by month, some that are by day. Planners look a lot less like a notebook. You don't see the pages or the spiral bounds. And then others are designed to look more like a traditional planner. So you can see different pages as well as the spiral bound in the middle. They all have the same function. It's really about the layout that you like, what seems to fit your day-to-day -day needs. So this is one option. You go to Etsy, you buy the planner, you'll import it. Um, and we'll go into details on how to do that later. The second option is for those that really want to be creative and do this from the ground up. And that's what a lot of these videos will be about, is how to do it yourself. Um, and so with this option, you'll be making and designing your own planners, your own stickers. So to do this, you're going to want what's called the Procreate app. And I will be doing a lot of videos in here to show you how to use it, but it's essentially a drawing tool that has a lot of power. This is where I create a lot of my digital stickers, where I design different things that are gonna go into my planner. The other thing you're gonna want is Keynote. Keynote is kind of like PowerPoint, but for the Apple world. Uh, it's free on most iPads now. And you can see here, this is actually where I started the planning of my planner that I've been showing you. I do most of this on the computer. I find it much easier, and then I import it from Keynote into my iPad. So again, you really have two choices. You can either buy it and go from there, or you could do it yourself. You also have the option of doing a little bit of a hybrid, so you could buy a planner, but design your own stickers and get creative along the way. So I really want you guys to be able to try and start this today, provided you have an Apple iPad as well as a pencil already. So if you go to the link below, you'll find a link to the blog that I've started at the bottom you'll see this weekly spread in a notebook, much like what you've already seen today. When you open it, it'll open in Google Drive, it'll be a PDF. So simply click on the three dots, then choose Open In, and you'll see one of the options is GoodNotes, so you're gonna choose Open In GoodNotes. Then this window will pop up and you'll simply click that you want to import it into a new document. Once you've done that, you'll have your first spread ready to go right here in GoodNotes. So you'll be able to do a lot of what we just showed. You'll be able to grab your pen. You can fill in the dates. It's not predated, so you can reuse it week by week or just try it for a week. That is up to you. It's just a single page for now, but you can easily duplicate and add multiple pages. So you can fill in numbers. There's some blank space and some blank boxes at the bottom to really make it your own. So you could put a to-do list in one. Maybe a shopping list in the other. Again, these are blank for a reason. I really wanted everyone to be able to be creative. Using that Apple Pencil, you can even doodle to decorate different things. I am not an artist. So one thing you'll see when we start creating stickers, I'm gonna show you a lot of shortcuts and cheats for those of you that are like me and maybe don't have the greatest artistic ability. So here's my attempt at a funny looking birthday cake. Maybe it's someone's birthday on Saturday. And there you have it. So this is yours to play with. So long as you have an, an Apple Pencil and an iPad, you can do this today and you can start playing around with digital planning right now. So I hope you enjoy and again look for future videos where we'll be talking about all sorts of things from creating stickers to making your own planners to even starting to turn this into something that can build a profit. So enjoy, like, subscribe, and we'll see you all later.